The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. What this is showing is that the blood flow to the penis mm -hmm. is better because that's what erections are all about, healthy blood flow. And as we get older, our blood flow diminishes, our heart, heart health, our circulatory health diminishes over, over many years. And a lot of that has to do with how we eat. The experiment, while great for a movie, I love you, Dr. Spitz, yeah. but, but I mean, there are so many other factors that go into an erection. This is one night, three dudes. There were other yeah. things in the burritos. What was the, you know, what was the tortilla made? Like, there are so many elements, so I can't pull much away from this other than it's the, it forces you to think about what you're eating. It forces you to think about how that plays a role. And I, what I would love to do is for you to do this and do it over the course of three weeks yeah. with, oh, yeah. with 100 men mm -hmm. and, and have it, you know, and, and if I saw those results, you're, you're gonna see a lot of men a lot well, of men yeah, switch well, away. We're working on putting together. And, and I think that's uh, a longer trial. And, and there's another Ridges scan trial that's about to launch. So there's actually going to be more actual validation. Because I think men, if they see that data, mm. which is more than an experiment, then it's actual clinical data. And Absolutely. you could say, look, hey, if, if, you're, right. if you eat more veggies, yes. guys, you are going to be able to show well, yeah, oh, the world the, your... The, the men that out. are listening, they should put it to the test themselves. You don't have to yes. wait for your, well, your I, next study. This is an unusual <laughs> part of the body to study, but more studies have been done on the arm. And when they do studies on the arm, looking at blood flow results after certain kinds of nutrients, they do demonstrate that when you eat animal products, whether it's the animal protein or the animal fat, there is a decrease in flow compared to when you eat vegetables. Uh, even oil has a negative impact on these blood flow studies. So, you know, studies have been done, but I agree with you, the, the future is wide open for this kind of, a, of an examination. The, the other thing that I think is so interesting about this study is that, you know, uh, going plant-based or vegan, however you want to phrase it, um, really has had such a stigma. Uh, mm -hmm. It seems to be uh, something that's associated more with women than men. Or if it's with guys, it's skinny guys, it's wimpy guys. Mm -hmm. And the amazing thing uh, about this documentary and the people that I met as part of participating in it is there are some really big, strong Beefy, like the strongest guy in the there. world. Right? Yeah, the strongest guy in the world, Patrick Baboumian. Okay, this guy weighs 256 pounds. Mm -hmm. His biceps are 50 centimeters. He's got he bench some... presses about 460 pounds. Um, you know, just unbelievable metrics here. And this is all plant-based, right. plant-based athletes. And so there's this, there's this real shift starting to happen. When I would talk to my patients about plant-based diets for prostate cancer prevention, they'd say, oh yeah, my daughter's vegan, or oh yeah, my niece. Uh, now men are starting to understand that uh, what is good for the gander is good for the goose. Well, men don't change behaviors as much if you say, well, your risk of cardiovascular <laughs> disease will go up. Mm -hmm. But if you say, hey, you change your behavior and tonight you gonna are going to it. pitch the best tent of your life. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dr. Spitz, you can check him out in the Game Changers. It's now streaming on Netflix.